Hello everybody, welcome back to an episode of Indie Spotlight. It's me Tech and today I am playing a demo version, it's important not as a demo version, of the game Skull. It's I believe it's by a Korean indie developer. I'm not sure about that, not 100 percent sure, but it's an in is a pixel kind of dead cell-ish style roguelike with some interesting mechanics. And I'll just run through this opening cutscene and I'll be right back with y'all. I don't think we need to play the tutorial. But anyway, as you can see, it has a great soundtrack. Like seeing this one actually. And it has a very charming art style, I will say that actually. Basically, we have a little bit of a hack and slash style kind of 2D platformer gameplay here with enemy variants. We have a dash. It's very, very similar to Dead Cells actually, I would say. Uh, maybe like, not in terms of things like uh, design space and creative style choices, but like this feels definitely a lot more like, folk, like less gray, like grim, less gloomy. And dark cells, the uh, uh, dead, dead cells, sorry. Which is definitely fine. I mean, it's just a different design choice. It seems a lot more cheerful. A lot less serious, I say. Again, these things seem to give us some sort of benefit, so I do it, but yeah. When we have levels like this, you can see the map in the bottom, bottom left corner. Bottom right corner, my sense of direction is also just completely gone. And we have these special abilities, like I can throw my head for a great distance. And there's different enemy types, things like small platforming things that kind of give some interest in the game. But the main thing about this game is that um, we haven't encountered the mechanic yet. I hope we will soon, is that we can actually play as different characters by switching in the skull that we have. That means that we have different unique abilities, different uh, costumes, whatever. And I think that's like the kind of the real selling point of this game. You experience it in the tutorial, but I think you have to go a bit further into the game in order to see it for yourselves. I will say that if you're an English, natively English speaking person, and you do plan to play this game, uh, and in the demo at least, there are some uh, typos. I think it shows that this isn't made by an English developer, which is nothing to be shame enough. Definitely not something that de should detract from your experience. But the this game for now maybe is, is definitely still in a demo so can't really judge it too well. Like it will be coming out in early access on February the twelfth I believe. And that's kind of why I'm covering this game, because I know that the exit is coming out soon, and I'm interested to see where this is gets taken. I might even cover it again later in, in a later episode of the Spotlight, if there is a significant um, like 
a significant content or gameplay updates to this, which I think there definitely is room for. Oops, we have our first kind of boss. Alright. Okay. S easy patterns, generally. What the? Alright. Let's go again. I don't think I showed enough of this game yet. Let's try and skip this. No, thank you. Yeah, let's hit on down. Obviously, I haven't mastered this game, as you can definitely tell. But, uh, for the demo, I'm not sure how far it goes. It does seem like an interesting concept, though, and one that I am. Interested in seeing where this gets taken because I think there's definitely a lot more room to explore and kind of a lot more creative space in this game. But so far, I'm actually not really sure how like the roguelike element of this comes in. Uh, rather. Besides skulls, it doesn't seem like there's a concrete way to kind of really impact your the gameplay. Like it doesn't really change any gameplay mechanics drastically, I would say. Is you just have these basic attacks, you have some specials like throwing your head. You have the occasional crit apparently. Didn't even know that. health, basic stuff. As, as of yet, I don't think there's much... I have to be honest, there's not too much depth to this game. But I think it has potential for sure. Definitely a lot of well thought out kind of design choices, a lot of room for growth. But in, I mean, it's a demo form. I can't really say anything much about it. I am excited to see where this goes, if they are able to kind of capitalize on the base that they have here. And it does definitely recall aspects of Dead Cells and things like, even like, almost a kind of Meeple story esque. Uh, charm to it, which I think is definitely is one of its best features. That's, I guess that's always debatable. But, as I said, I'm interested to see where this goes. If you would like to check it out, the, the demo is still available, I believe. But, also, it will be coming out in early access, so if you do like what you see here, and you're interested, as am I, to see where this game goes in terms of its development features and content-wise, uh, do check it out. Let me just... once more... Ooh, okay, so I think this is our first skull that we get. Ah, okay. Here you see the first kind of that mechanic. So increased damage, things like uh, give a different ability. Ow. And I think this will be like the kind of core mechanic that this whole game kind of rides on. And I mean, I don't think it's a bad core mechanic. We'll see how long, how much depth this game has, as I said. Definitely, obviously, status effects. It's kind of like Dead Cells, in that sense. Definitely took a lot of inspiration from that, I would say. 
enemy design it's okay I mean we're seeing mainly like three or four types of enemies I'm at one health I do predict to lose this encounter very soon but we shall see wonder how boss fights are decided like all those like are those every few floors? Do they if they set or is, like would I just face a mini boss back there? What's happening? I have no idea. Okay, I jumped into that one. That's my bad. But I think I'll end the spotlight here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for my daily content and comment down below. I'll catch you all next time. See you.